Hello, Koi. This is your County of Koi briefing for Thursday, April 21st. In honor of Volunteer Week this week and Earth Day on Friday, there are many opportunities for the community to get involved through service projects across the island. We thank Koi's many volunteers and organizations who inspire, equip, and mobilize people to take action to serve our community. Your work and volunteerism are vital to making Koi better for the next generation. For more information about Volunteer Week, visit volunteerweekhawaii.org. Speaking of improving the future of our island, registration is now open for the county's first ever Youth Climate Summit, which will be held on Saturday, May 7th from 10 a.m. to noon at the Kauai Philippine Cultural Center in Lihue. The summit is free and aims to engage youth from ages 11 to 25 to share their opinions and ideas on how Koi can adapt to the impacts of climate change. Breakfast will be served and there will be opportunities to win prizes. To register, visit KauaiAdaptation.com. We'd like to extend our appreciation to the Department of Veteran Affairs, our federal, state, and county partners, along with the Koi Veterans Council for completing the expansion of the Koi Veterans Cemetery in Hanapepe. A blessing ceremony was held on Thursday to commemorate the construction and infrastructure upgrades that will provide continued service for over 4,500 veterans and eligible family members. This was an incredible effort to honor and serve those who have sacrificed for us all, and we are grateful to everyone involved. Now for an update on COVID-19. Cases are rising on Koi statewide and nationally, likely due to the BA2 Omicron subvariant. Thankfully, cases are not spiking at the levels we have seen in the past. Our seven-day case average is now 10 cases a day, up from six cases a day last week. Our test positivity rate is now over 12%. Our case count only reports cases confirmed in the lab and does not include results from home test kits. So the actual number of current cases is likely higher. As a reminder, if you test positive for COVID, please follow Department of Health guidelines and isolate for at least five days. The Department of Health's lab and Oahu confirmed the case of the new XE subvariant last week, which means this new subvariant is likely spreading around the state now. Health officials say XE is slightly more transmissible than BA2 but does not appear to make you more sick. Continue taking the steps you feel are right for your family, like choosing to wear a mask in crowded indoor spaces, getting tested when you feel sick, or have a suspected exposure, and getting a booster. And please stay home if you're sick. Lihue Pharmacy has ended their free community COVID testing. Big mahalo to Lihue Pharmacy and the Department of Health for providing this service to our community for so long. The county's free testing center at the Kauai Moore Memorial Convention Hall remains open five days a week. Stop by any weekday from 8 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. for a free same-day test. Or visit the mobile testing van Fridays in Kalaheo, Saturdays in Hanole, Sundays in Kapa'a, and Wednesdays in Kikaha, and Thursdays in Kilauea open from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. each day. You can now order a second round of home test kits from the federal government. Each household in the U.S. is eligible to order two sets of four free at-home tests. If you already ordered your first set, you can order a second set now at covidtest.gov. Additionally, another round of free COVID home test kits from the county and the Department of Health will be distributed in early May. Details will be announced soon. As you may have seen on the news, the federal government's mandate to wear a mask at the airport and on buses is no longer in effect. Masks are now optional, but continue to be encouraged in crowded indoor settings. Adults 50 and older are now eligible for a second booster of the Pfizer or Moderna vaccines. People under 50 with weakened immune systems are also eligible for a second booster. For younger, healthy people, one booster is enough for now. If you are eligible, you can get a booster four months or more after your last shot. For a list of locations, please visit koi.gov forward slash vaccine. Mahalo Koi.